Hey everyone. It's a beautiful day outside. I'm out in my front yard and there's oh, folks coming down the street. Kids been out playing all day and uh, it's a little warm out here actually. Um, but it's beautiful and I just uh, wanted to come out here for a change. You've been in my living room long enough. Soon. We'll be coming together in the church building and I'm so looking forward to that. So um, I hope you guys are having a great day and uh, actually prepared something today because I had something really specific I wanted to talk about and make sure I gave it uh, its due, so to speak. So um, I wanted to talk about physical expression in worship. It's a scary topic, right? <laughs> we're used to singing. We're used to clapping our hands and raising our hands um, but we'd rather just sing most of the time it's uh, uh, just one of those things that we do so I thought I'd talk about it a little bit um, first of all I just want to clarify that worship does not equal music uh, I know that it's referred to in that way a lot of times and and nobody means any harm by calling it that but but it it kind of it's odd to me when, when they say, you know, we'll have worship and then we'll have teaching or we'll have uh, worship and then we'll have communion or we'll have worship. And it, 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 it's all worship. All of it is. And though I love music, it's not the core of worship. So um, I just wanted to start with saying that. But uh, um, it's so much more than just music, of course. Um, worship through music can be done with or without singing. It can be done with or without instruments. Uh, so musically, I know when Doug's playing a, a guitar solo, tell me he's not praising the Lord, you know? Uh, so I, I think of it that way. Um, and it doesn't matter. It's the attitude of your heart more than any skill that you might have. So everybody out there that cannot hold a tune in a bucket with a good strong lid on it, uh, no worries because it's still very much worship uh, even in that regard so as we come together I'm thankful that everybody even focuses on God during that music time you know that's the whole the whole point of it so um, the worship music reminds us of who God is and what he's done uh, what it means uh, to be together uh, just depending on the words of the song uh, you know it's, it's it reminds us of all of those things and music will often stick with us long after uh, the words uh, have have left and you can recall that tune and then the words come and that means that the scripture comes because it comes from often the, the song lyrics come from the Word of God and it's a way to just reinforce that in our hearts I know for me uh, many many songs I could get really emotional about it but many songs have uh, brought me through some really hard times and helped me be able to express really great times so uh, I look I look to music in that way um, but it's a great tool to get God's Word into our hearts so what else did I have here today? Oh yeah, you can sing the songs and play the songs and not be worshiping. So of course it's about the attitude of our heart, the, the meditation of what's in, what's in our heart, what's in our spirit, and just our expression to God through, through worship. Because it can be hollow um, really easily. And we can get caught up in the trappings of the music and miss the whole point of that expression of worship so um, we just need to make sure that as we sing songs or as we play songs or as we you know any of any of those things or any other method of worship for that matter that we are using it for its intent which is to give God worth to ascribe worth to him so man my hair's driving me crazy today I'm distracted squirrel so Music's one way to worship. But what are some other examples? Meeting together on Sunday. That's worship. Bible reading. Communion. Prayer. Teaching. The sermon. The message. Giving your offering. Serving in ministry. Lots of other things. If you guys think of more, if you're watching this, throw them out in the comments. Other ways that, of things that you consider worship. Um, 
there's just an endless list probably pretty much anything that is ascribing worth to God worship so since singing has been one of our main methods of worshiping together and as we come together into the building tomorrow some with masks uh, that that we may have to think a little outside of the box because you may not be comfortable singing with a mask on <laughs> it's a crazy thing okay so uh you know we're, we're gonna have to get creative here and we don't have to really come up with too many because the bible gives us so many reasons so what are other ways that we can physically physically express our worship through music during the music time so the scripture gives us lots of examples and some of them are standing that's in 2 Chronicles 20, 19, Revelation 7, Psalm 33, Psalm 135, uh, clapping hands. We already do that a lot. Psalm 47, Isaiah 55, marching like in Joshua, Song of Solomon, uh, dancing. Uh, you know, Adam, I will never live down Tracy's dance hall. I got to say, with the, with the worship center being a little more empty right now, it feels like prime example of a place for a dance hall you can swing your arms around and not a person's gonna be hit so um so there's that dancing psalm 149 second samuel 6 uh laughter is in there psalm 126 job 8 20 and 21 um lifting up your hands that's in romans 12 psalm 141 psalm 143 whole bunches of psalms 42 134 63 28 whoo the psalms really like uh, the lifting up of hands can you tell and uh, first timothy 2 also bowing down or kneeling we don't do that a lot uh, partly because i'm not positive i could get back up again <laughs> so but but the posture of bowing i uh even just the lowering of our heads, you know, um, uh, Psalm 95 talks about bowing or kneeling. So, and then there's also falling prostrate before God. And we've seen that in first Kings in first Chronicles, a lot of old Testament, um, bowing and, and just falling on our knees before him. Um, silence, Ecclesiastes, there's a time for everything, including being quiet. So, uh, Psalm 46, uh, also tears, which often accompany all of the other methods of worship. Acts 20, Luke 7, Psalms 126, and, and more. Um, I'm thankful to God for the gift of being able to sing and cry at the same time. Because <laughs> I cry a lot. <laughs> you probably won't even notice it because you're not really close enough to see. But um, sometimes just... Uh, um, Tears of thankfulness, tears of joy, uh, tears when you're convicted by the lyric of a song. Um, don't be afraid to cry. Not even you guys out there. It's okay to be a dude and be emotional. Um, and so those are the ways that I have listed to physically express our worship. And if singing's not your thing, now's your time to shine. <laughs> so I hope that... Uh, you'll be able to to uh, ponder about this. If you're seeing this video, uh, just spend a little time thinking about it. How do I worship and why do I worship that way? And why might I be holding myself back uh, in other ways of expressing worship? I promise you know we're just we're just gonna go for it that's what i have to do and i'm i'm learning and growing more every day and uh, i'm i'm thankful to god that that uh, i'm continuing to be able to grow in that and i'm never stopping to learn so or never stop learning hmm. so i'm excited that we're gonna gather our church inside the building and it's gonna be so good to be together things are different so let this be an opportunity for your worship to be different too. You know, it's kind of a do-over. It's kind of a, a fresh start. I made a joke in the very, very beginning of all of this craziness, the very first week that we were not meeting in the church. I said, I think I made a Facebook post about it. I was hoping it would still be around. I might find it. But it said something like, you know, how long is the lease on these church pews? <laughs> 
because if we're gone long enough, that's not even going to be a thing anymore. So, uh, uh, you know, things are different. There's not the whole rose and everything like we're used to. Everything's different. So let your worship be different too. And let all of the anticipation of this time together spill out in a new physical way. Um, it's a no judgment zone. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. We've learned how much we miss being together in worship and don't let anything hold you back from just fully praising the Lord, thanking him for who he is and, and giving him what he's worth. So as a team, as a worship team, um, we pray, we pray before we practice, uh, we pray before we do the run through on Sunday morning, we pray before the service starts and you know after our devotion time together uh, we spend time in prayer and I'd like to pray with you guys very much like we pray together um, often the same things you know we pray for the same things over and over and I don't think God has a problem with that it, I always need the same things and and I'm thankful for a lot of the same things so uh, I'd love to pray with you right now like I would our team you know we're all worshipers after all so uh, let's pray Lord we thank you for allowing us to worship you in this way through music we pray that what we do would be more than just a song more than the notes we play or sing we pray to be filled with your Holy Spirit we ask that you would move through us in us and in spite of us forgive us Lord when we're distracted Help us to focus on you, Lord, your goodness to us, your amazing love for us, your grace and mercy toward us. Help us glorify you in what we say, what we play, what we sing, and the way that we live our lives. We love you, Lord. We give you all the glory always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining me today. Can't wait to see your faces, or at least the top half of them tomorrow morning. So uh, I'm excited. I love you guys and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.